Positive Attitude and Personal Growth. Hello students, I'm Stacy Perkins with Legacy Education Alliance, and I'm happy to bring you a brand new edition of Legacy Connection. Your connection to Legacy's most shared and engaging content for this month, spanning from real estate and foreclosure investment to financial markets, currencies, and business training across the globe. Today's topic is meant for the individual who might still be fairly new to entrepreneurship and network building. So let's get right to it and invite Legacy Education's CEO, Anthony Humpage, who would like to share a few words on relationship building. Anthony? Hello, everyone. This is Anthony Humpage. I'm CEO of Legacy Education Alliance. I thought I'd just have a short chat with you today about how we work in today's world and the value of relationships and how we might manage them. Um, I was thinking about this just in context of our own business uh, a couple of days ago. A lot of the thrust, particularly for entrepreneurs these days, is to build online businesses. And you know there's a, a joke about, or at least a humorous vision, of entrepreneurs working at home in their pajamas, never really going out into the world. And for many of us, yes, we can build a certain level of success in this online world without any personal contact. But there's something that's lost in this picture that's certainly been my experience. And that is relationships are, and the relationships that I have built have been the real bedrock of my personal and business success. So we should ask ourselves, well, how do we do that when we're working in an online context all the time? You know, it really isn't hard. You just have to get out of your pajamas, get dressed, go out and meet people, other business people, and form good, solid relationships with them so that people trust and respect you. I hope that's helpful. Thanks for listening. Once again, this is Anthony Humpage. Thank you, Anthony. It certainly is important to remember to recognize technology and online mediums of communication for what they are, complementary tools that we can add to our repertoire of networking skills. Never should they be viewed as a substitute to the act of getting out there and meeting fellow entrepreneurs face to face. Now that we're out of our pajamas and ready to network with the world, how does one take the first step in conversation that might lead to a productive business outcome? It all starts with the ability to effectively communicate your value. What is your value proposition? In the simplest terms, your value proposition is essentially the main benefit customers will receive by using your product or service. It is meant to convince your target audience to choose you over your competitors. How should you craft your value proposition? Well, first and foremost, it should address the following three questions. What pain point does this product or service solve for customers? What are the details of this added benefit and how does it solve your customers' challenges? Why is your offering better than others on the market? When you think of the answers to these questions, do so in the context of your own situation. You may not have a product or service, but you may certainly have value to offer your fellow investors or partners. Why should they choose you over other entrepreneurs? If you can answer each of these questions in a clear and succinct manner, your target audience will be well on its way to understanding the value that you bring to the table. Remember, keep in mind your audience's perspective. The first step is to think about who you're trying to reach with your message. Think about the problems that your audience is facing and how your offering can solve them. Finally, keep it concise and focused. Remember, we want people to understand your message. You'll want to be able to explain this in just a few sentences at most. After all, if you can't clearly communicate your offerings, how will your target audience ever understand it? If you incorporate these suggestions, you are bound to improve your value proposition. I'd like to leave you with an inspirational quote shared recently on our social media channels by H.P. Lydon. What we do on some great occasion will depend on what we are 
and what we are will be the result of previous years of self-discipline. I'm Stacey Perkins with Legacy Education Alliance. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time on Legacy Connections.